October 12, 2021, Tuesday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, for Jew first and then Greek. For in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith. As it is written, one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them, because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation, His invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what He has made. As a result, they have no excuse, for although they knew God, they did not accord Him glory as God, or give Him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man, or of birds, or of four-legged animals, or of snakes. Therefore God handed them over to impurity through the lusts of their hearts, for the mutual degradation of their, bod degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and revered and worshipped the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. 